Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna talk about solving systems of equations using MATLAB. So here I have six equations with six unknowns. I have changed it to a matrix form. So each row is representing an equation and then this would be my coefficient matrix and I have my variable. Uh, the order that you write your variable doesn't matter but first you need to write your variable and then find the coefficient matrix based on these variables and then also the, the known matrix. So I'm gonna move these matrices into MATLAB, write them in MATLAB, and then take an inverse of my um, matrix A, multiply it by B to get my unknowns. So here I show you the same matrix, matrix A, I have written it in MATLAB, and then matrix B, and then x would be inverse of a so in MATLAB the function for inverse is a times b also you can use the Gaussian approach which is a backslash b so this is backslash and either I can write all of these in the command window or I can write it in editor editor is easier because then it stays there I don't have to uh, redo it or rewrite it anytime I, I run it so if I run I get the result here I'm showing you I have my A matrix B matrix and then X using the two approaches so for this simple problem both of them are gonna give up me the same answer but usually the Gaussian approach is better if you have a large matrix with a lot of uh, zeros it always uh, yield a result for us and when you're writing your matrices you can use comma and uh, between the columns and then you could use a uh, semicolon to move between the rows uh, it really doesn't matter i usually write uh, use the spaces instead of using commas and then i enter to go to the second row that makes it look nicer so i can debug it to see if i have any error or uh, or not 